Welcome back to Trumbull Valley. At the end of my previous video, I had a plan which was to pursue an Isby mission uh, that's no longer here because uh, I had to end my session for various reasons, came back, and Isby has not yet spawned her mission. But that's okay, because we had another goal, which is to get some uh, really nice gear for this Red Talon character that I've just picked up. Now, oh, he seems a little, little disappointed by the gear he's already got. This is just what he brought with him. He's got this, uh, you know, lovely new assault rifle, but I think we can do better. Um, so one option I have is because my son has been playing Daybreak with me a whole bunch, uh, I've built up some prestige, so I could call in the prestige trader, and I might still, but I think since I'm here at this Red Talon base, I should try using our Cleo Relay. I haven't actually done one of these since we got this base, so basically I can call, instead of using prestige, I can use influence to call in a Cleo drop, and that will come with some Daybreak gear. Which is appropriate, I think, for a Red Talon person to be uh, to be wielding. Uh, it'll also come with some Cleo ammo, though if I want an ammo-only drop, I can also do that for half the price. But let's let's go with this Cleo drop and see what happens. Okay. Damn, man. This much noise is bound to attract a lot of zombies. Okay, so... I'm not actually sure, because I have not played through one of these in quite some time, I'm pretty sure that I've got to wait for a little bit before that fires off, which is fine. I've got things I can do. So, for one thing, we've got a bunch of hostels down here. I wonder if I've got time to go and try to deal with them before something serious happens. Let's see, who's who's around my base? I want to bring some backup if we're fighting hostiles. I don't want to have all of them shooting at my head at the same time. Lauren, you feel like coming with me? Can I borrow you for a while? Okay, you lead the way. All right, let's go grab our car, head down that way. So, Cogs wants to know because this is official playtest day um, at the studio. Uh, most folks are testing the hotfix build, and I said that I'm actually just going to test the retail build because it's almost the same. Um, Ed Cox is like, why can't you test the hotfix build? It's actually, it's live in the beta. Um, you know, it's not like it's secret. It's not that I can't test it. It's that, um, I'm not quite set up to. I haven't updated. I haven't updated to the latest, uh, to the latest version of my dev kit. And really, I mean, the main thing I'm looking for right now is more bugs that we haven't found yet. Uh, which, you know, the hotfix build is not necessarily going to give me, so... I mean, I guess it will. It just I think it just doesn't make much of a difference uh, whether I use the hotfix build or the live build. So I just figured I'd use a live build because, you know, it's also more straightforward to bring you all along. I guess technically there's nothing wrong with me streaming the hotfix build, uh, but just my habit is always, you know, if I'm streaming on my channel, I've ever seen I, when I'd show up at a friend's house with a tray of cookies. I mean, everybody loves cookies. Okay, Lauren, you're... you're, you're the fact is, Lauren. Smiles was really <laughs> Hold on a sec, will you? Thank you. All right. Well, I've just hacked the arm off something. That was nice. Oh, yeah. The fact is, the smiles were the real reason I baked. They were ten times better than those cookies. Thank you for helping Mr. Wilkerson retrieve the memory. Ah, <sighs> everyone's talking. We'll be running some system tests on our project, so you might hear some unusual radio chatter. Okay, anyway, I've just got a habit of not streaming. Oh, yeah. Lauren, okay, fine. Oh, right. Dialogue doesn't stop when you pause the game, which is a mess, by the way. Uh, okay, I think Lauren's done for just a second. Um, I just have a habit of not streaming internal builds on my, on my personal channel. There are times when it's probably okay, and this is probably one of them, but, you know, why why break with, uh, with such an important tradition when... Um, when this is just as good. So anyway, hello everyone. Do you wanna, do you wanna open the door? No, you, you're gonna make me do it. All right. Time for you to go straight to hell. What? She died? How did that happen? 
Holy crap! I just got her killed straight up right at the very beginning? Oh, what? What was her skill? I forgot. What, what, what was she doing in the community? I mean, aside from having a cop brother. Oh, gosh. Oh, this guy's doing some damage to me. No, get off me, zombies. No. Oh, sheesh. Oh, I can't believe that. Wow. I thought bringing back up was going to make me uh, safer, but uh, no. I mean, I guess it made me safer. Maybe I would have died. Oh, I like Lauren, though. She was cool. Ugh. All right, well. This place looks chock full of nothing. Yeah, this uh, may not have been worthwhile. Rest these. I'll take it. Oh, gosh. Okay. Well, there's a way to start a session. Holy crap. All out of ammo, too. Guess we'll drop off her stuff here. Did not mean to actually lose that. Let's see what else we can grab off these bodies. Uh, Jalapa, no, I'm only playing on Dread. Uh, I can't actually, that character died. So, I might have been playing Lauren earlier, um, and forgot that she was already close to death. If that's the case, then, of course, obviously, that's my fault. She was my mechanic! Crap! She's my mechanic. That's who she was. Well, I'm gonna need a new me I am now in the market for a mechanic. I guess I should have crafted some, uh, toolkits first before going out here. Who else is rocking some supplies? Oh, this guy. So yeah, that went very badly, but it's okay. Can't carry that much. A bright green backpack, eh? Not necessary. Okay. Let's let's head back to base. <laughs> So that is two deaths. So I'm trying to remember. My Nightmare community, I'm pretty sure, had zero deaths from the community. I did get one survivor killed who I was trying to help at one point. But I don't think I actually suffered any deaths in my Nightmare community. But now I've started this Dread community in Trouble Valley, and I've already gotten two members of my community killed. That's wonderful. <laughs> I must just be overconfident, you know? I'm just not... I'm not preparing enough. I'm not trying... Like, if I had been going to meet those people in Nightmare, I would have brought a bunch of explosives, a bunch of other stuff. Uh, this time I was like, ah, whatever. It's a dread. I can handle it. And uh, went in unprepared. And she... You know what? She was telling me all about her whole cookie deal. Like, she was trying to become a person and everything. And just... That, uh, did not work out. Okay. So... Oh, get away. How many freaking zombies? Okay. Get away. Nope, 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 nope. Do, 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 do. This. I'm trying to lead him back to my base, and I've got no idea what I'm doing. Okay. This is not how to get somebody back to your that base. Juggernaut looks extra freaky. Oh, there's a juggernaut. Wonderful. So where? There. Okay, can I get through this? Yes! Just barely. Alright. Anyway, I'll let my team deal with that juggernaut. Of course, any second we're gonna have this Cleo drop. Yeah, so we definitely need to... Ooh! Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Oh, no! Oh, no! The game froze. What? What? No! <laughs> Why? Uh, why? That's weird. Huh. Okay. Sure. 
Guess that happens sometimes. Uh, so one item on our hot fix, uh, let's, we, we do have a couple of crash fixes. So maybe, maybe the game will be more stable after our next hot fix. We'll have to see. Oh, weird. And now it's, what? I feel like this is not a game level problem. I just quit the game and came back. What is going, it's just, my entire Xbox Series X just turned off. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> wow. All right, well, let's start up our Xbox, uh, our Xbox Series X. I don't think... I don't think we've got a crash bug this bad. I think something else went wrong. At least not that I know of. If this is on the game side, I really hope this is one of the crash bugs we fixed. Because that's a bad one. Okay, it seems like it's working this time. You know, it's entirely possible that actually... This is loud. It's entirely possible that my room is just too hot to be running an Xbox in or something. What? What? Adjust gamma? No. Okay, good. Uh, I was really worried about that. I thought that it was my save file corrupted if... If it was telling me to adjust gamma, but it looks like I've still got the council here in Trouble Valley. Huh. Okay. Let's see here. All right, we're here. We've still got our vehicle. See, is the vehicle in more shape? No, it's probably fine. Okay, let's just send everything back. Oh, wait. I had gas in there that I wanted. Isby! Is I've got a side project I've been working on. Anybody available to help me out? Okay, we wanted to go on the Isby mission. My Clio relay is still going on. My camera settings are still good. I've got no idea why it wanted me to do the gamma settings. That was weird. All right, so I've got a lot of stuff I don't need here. I do not need this wooden bat, for instance. I don't need to have two breaching hammers. I don't need two saw blade swords. I don't need these little pieces of garbage here. Got a lot of guns too. I'll have to weed through those a little bit later. Uh, let me make sure I've got the ammo for the guns that I have though. What is this fire? 5.56? Five, five, okay, well, it looks like we've got enough for one magazine. Loading my final mag now. So this guy's definitely going to want some more gear. Let's see. We also need to gas up that vehicle with our last gas can. I've got no repair kits, and I'm pretty sure because I lost my mechanic, I can't make new ones. So we are definitely in the market for a mechanic. I'll at least go gas up the vehicle. All right, well, I'm ready for this uh, Clio drop whenever it wants to happen, but it looks like it's not quite happening yet. So what else do I want to do while I'm waiting? I guess I can go scavenge nearby without going too far. Like, there's a nice ammo place here. Actually, I'm getting a little bit low on food. So yeah, let's go hit some of the nearby locations so that we're ready whenever the Cleo drop lands. Cobwebs. Oh, thanks. I'd like to get some seeds, too, because... I'm, I'm kind of hovering on the edge of deciding to maybe go with a trader leader and then have a massively upgraded farm. What a treat. But that requires more seeds than I have, so I want to pick up those and some materials. Ah, snap. Check it out. 
So uh, Cog says that, that the Xbox sometimes randomly does that for him sometimes too, just crashing and turning off and resetting some stuff. So maybe this isn't something I have to worry about for the game. I'm just really crossing my fingers on that. Wow, okay, we might have just gotten all the seeds we need right here. So I can just keep making little tiny runs, but I should probably bring a car with me so that I can get a little bit more done more efficiently. So we'll drop this off. So got a bunch of supplies for us here. And drop the seeds off. And yeah, let's bring this car out. see what else we can get. So again, I would love to get some more materials. I'm always in the market for guns and ammo, so this seems like a good little spot here to start vacuuming stuff up. Looks like this place is worth searching. Oh wow, this is kind of a bonanza. Don't necessarily need that generator. That is a lot to carry. Better keep moving. I'm just going to let my people deal with whatever's attacking the base. Ooh, we got an Xbox! Yeah, I'm just hearing a bunch of zombies outside. It's fine. Got a note. That's got somebody's email address on it. Cool. Yup, that's not good. And that's the last of my inventory, so... Let's run out here. Drop off the biggest, heaviest things. And get some more. Oh, hello. Ah, hello. So at some point, I'm going to have to pick a character to start going after this uh, shooting off zombie arms thing. Got a little bit of story stuff going on here. I'm just going to leave that lying around. So many zombies for me to do, just ignore. I'm just going to track some more. How does that sound? Okay, good. I got a toolkit. See you later, zombies. By the way, how are the audio levels for other folks? I set them higher than usual because I wanted to be able to hear dialogue like when I got into his beat, but is this combat so loud you're having trouble hearing my voice? If it is, I should probably bring it down. Oh, so, uh... Corrupt Snake showed up and wanted to know what difficulty I'm playing on. I am playing on Dread right now. And... So, Brian Rouleau has got a fix for that bug. I was supposed to move all the way into the driver's seat, and I didn't. He's actually got a fix. Incoming for a future update. Now, I don't have a lot more space. i got one more slot in my inventory. So let's maybe grab one thing. I cannot keep this up. Sure you can. Okay, let's see what else we can find. Yes. Okay, cool. I still have one spout in my inventory. I'm so damn tired. Yeah, I'm good at this. Okay. Getting tired. Let's see if I can get one more thing. Which of these boxes do I want to search? Let's just grab the little ammo box. Shotgun shells! Perfect. Alright, we'll drive back. See you later, zombie. Oh yeah, so somebody was complimenting my hat and, wanted to, and saying that they hadn't found it yet. So yeah, the hat that my character is wearing, uh, you can get that at the crashed plane. Uh, there's a box next to the crash plane that's labeled Dantron. That's where that's where that uh, where that hat lives. So feel free to check that out whenever you want. 
so much stuff. That was graceful. So how are we on this Cleo drop? Four minutes still, okay. We can probably do another scavenging run, can't we? Let's do that. So we still have a lot of that military tent to search. Let's see what we got in here. At some point I am gonna have to do like a pruning pass through all of my weapons. Make sure I'm actually keeping the ones I want and mulching the ones that I don't need. Alright, that's everything there. Drop off the stuff I don't need. Where else can we search? Over here? This is a weird kind of site. I'm not sure what it's going to have. Hopefully, something more interesting than parts. Great. A stick. Um, finding a cool stick. It's something you do as a child and also in the zombie apocalypse. Oh no. Ha <laughs> ha. See you later. Let's search this uh, trailer. Where is your container? There it is. Oh no, more zombies. Don't care. Ha ha ha. You can do this in dread. You can just run around and search things fast and expect that maybe you'll survive. It's already full. Where is not full? This spot. That spot's not full. I'm not full. I mean, um, not empty. Whatever. What am I saying? I don't know. Let's go over to this shed. That's what I'm saying. Hey, everybody. Oh, wow. There's a bunch of you now. Zombies do not know who they are messing with. Red Talon Soldier, level up heroism, deadly bladed weapon. <laughs> All quiet. So Demon Biako says, uh, are there eyes on the bug where other random survivors seem to spawn on or around your character often? It's useful sometimes, other times they spawn on top of your car. Uh, so when you say a survivor spawning, are you talking about survivors from like missions, like a like a new um, survivor in need mission spawns and the person just shows up right on top of you? Is that what you're saying? Because I, I don't have eyes on that bug. Hey there, Sunny Games, thanks for joining me. You missed an amazing crash bug that I think I'm just hoping was a hardware issue and not a software issue. <laughs> so I just, I don't want things like that to be software issues. Because then we have to fix them. Um, okay, let's head down this way because we are, we have been low on, fu on food lately. I haven't really gotten self-sufficient yet. Wait, how do I? I think I should not have driven in here. I don't think this is, oh, we have the barrel of Gibraltar, all right. Let's go a different way. Let's go this way. How are we doing on that Cleo drop? Oh, it is about to land. Okay. So let's... You know what? Maybe I'll just search the toilets instead. Just because they're here. Cleo with the supply drop. Copy. We'll get on it. ASAP. Okay, so that long wait... It's locked. Before the Cleo drop lands... Way too loud. There's a lot of zombies in your base. Looks like a shitstorm is brewing. Okay, so now I need to. That's a weird way for that to work. I feel like I need to give that a second look. Let me pause real quick and just make myself a note. Long Cleo drop delay. Like, what happens? I think 
it, with this particular mission, what happens if I'm just far away from base when it happens? Because you can totally, like, I could have crossed the map during this time. Ah! Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Yeah, this seems problematic. If we're going to make you be home for something. Nice. We're going to make you be at the base for something. We should probably fire it off pretty quickly if you trigger it while you're in base. This can't go on much longer. Just start. Shit, screamer. Where? Oh, hi. Weak spot. We got more of those motherfuckers incoming. Oh, hello. Okay, so, yeah, so Jawafala, that was what was confusing me. Oh, gosh! I'll tell you about it in a second. I didn't feel like I had returned to base. Like, when the mission fired off, it just said 30 seconds. And I thought that I was still technically out of base at the time. Oh, this feels like a daybreak siege, because... I'm wrapping it up and the sun is coming up. That's kind of nice. By the way, how is the volume? I'm feeling like maybe the siege is making a lot of noise. Maybe I should turn it down. Oh, get off me. Get off me. Big dumb Put zombies. Every one of these fuckers back in the ground. Ah, shit, this hurts. We made it. Everybody good? Anybody injured? This new Cleo drop Whew. is under control. No need to send out a team or anything. Okay, so where did the Cleo drop land? Copy that. Recon mission aborted. Thanks for letting us know. Wait, what did she say? There it is. For a second I was worried. Okay. Well, let's go get that Cleo drop and see what's in it. Yeah, so anyway, um, Jawa Fala, I was, I was concerned. And by the way, please definitely tell me if the audio is a problem. Okay, Cogs is saying it was too loud. So, sorry about that. I'll pull it down a little further. Um, but yeah, so I didn't feel like I was at base when it started. So I was nervous that maybe if I had driven far away, the siege would have started while I was away from home and then immediately failed because I was gone. Which seems like a problem if you're making the player wait 15 minutes before it begins. But I don't know. So I feel like I need to look into that a little bit. See if there's a better way for it to work. Okay, yeah. The, the, Jalafal, I think I... At first I was surprised by the dialogue because it's been a while since I've heard it and I forgot the context, but yeah, you're right. Red Talon is saying they're not coming to get this, so it's mine. Um... Okay, so yeah, Cleo Battle Rifle. Odd little Cleo machine. I forgot to empty my inventory. Hopefully it's a room in the... No! Dang it! Ugh. 
Hopefully that'll stick around and won't just disappear when I drive away. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's not how it works. Let's go empty out this car. So I like the Clio battle rifle. That makes me happy. So I'm gonna... I think that's gonna become this guy's... Oh gosh, zombies. Um, I think that's gonna become this guy's go-to gun. Oh look, a juggernaut. Not interested in engaging with any of you, thank you. Okay, let's drop this stuff off. Drop this off. And this, and this. We'll keep the battle rifle. Drop off our old gun. Now, I would like to get a Cleo pistol for this guy, too. So we can just be all decked out in Cleo stuff. Let's head back to the Cleo drop. Oh! Teach me to look over at the chat. Holy crap. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm glad I found a repair kit. What? Right, now we've got a regular siege. Should, honestly, like, should this just be a sieges only stream? Like, <laughs> let's do, let's do this siege, and then let's trigger another Cleo ammo drop and do another Cleo siege. Just because why not? Get this guy more ammo for his gun. Actually, for right now, let's actually not keep this gun on him, uh, because I want to build up a bunch of ammo before I start using the gun. Looks like, oh, this could actually use some gas. Let me, yeah, just barely has enough room to, to fill up with this gas, so let's do it. Hey there, McGurk, I'm glad you're into sieges, because that's what we're doing. That's what, that's what this is all about. Shit, man, that is a lot of zombies. All right, let's grab this. And might as well have this as backup. Let's let's grab a gun I just kind of care less about. Ooh, wait, APC9 RT. Where did I get this? This is a red talon gun. Feels like that might be appropriate for for my other red talon fan in this uh, community. Joe, we're under I'll grab my Osprey that, back. Let's see if I can fix this car before the zombie catches up with me. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, thank you, friends. Boom! Ha <laughs> ha! Come on, that has to be it. Please, please let that be it. What's good, SA? Well, while my friends are dealing with this, I think I will trigger another Cleo drop. This time, should I do a Cleo ammo drop or a regular Cleo drop? Let's do a regular Cleo drop again, just to see what other gun options I can get that way. This is a much lighter siege. Like the Cleo sieges we deliberately make, kind of high-end sieges, but this siege is just based on my current progression of my base. Ooh, I'm glad that ended when it did. So that wasn't a big deal. Um, all right, this character's getting tired. What do we have in the way of coffee? Got a little bit. All out. Okay, so let's let's test this theory that a Cleo drop will still work okay, that a Cleo drop siege will still work okay if I drive away from base. So we've, ki we've kicked off that potential Cleo drop, but let's actually go on the Isby's mystery mission. Yo, on it. Yay. Meet me in Spencer's mill. I'll explain when you get here. Okay, so right there. maybe we'll get this Isby mission done 
during the 15 minutes and we'll get back in time for the Clio drop, or maybe we won't. We'll see how it plays out. Weehoo! This is actually becoming my favorite route out of Fairfield. Okay, so Corrupt Snake reports uh, that they just recruited the best nicknamed Red Talon yesterday uh, that they've ever seen, named Captain Fabulous. Uh, so, I'm curious what the full name of that character is, because uh, Captain Fabulous is actually... Uh, I got that name from uh, one of my uh, like old-timey gaming buddies, uh, this guy Dan, who uh, we, we were playing a game of... Oh, what was it called? Uh, I think it was called Battle Stations. That's right. I think I think the game was called Battle Stations. It was the board game inspiration that led to. Uh, I believe that the game FTL uh, was based at least in part on on the game Battle Stations because uh, it was a game about sort of you had kind of a a spaceship with like uh, a, that you assembled from tiles and they had little spaces and basically it was about moving your team around on a spaceship and each team member had different skills and you were trying to survive a, a space encounter uh, of some kind. And the thing that was memorable was that, you know, Dan was playing the captain. And, he, and, and the way that the game works is, you know, they, you've got sort of like a, a baseline objective. Isabella, oh. he just told me where you went. Just a sec. Are you sure you're ready to go back there? Relax, Doc. I know what I'm doing. Okay, then. Just be careful, all right? So the, uh, the game had like baseline objectives just to survive. But then it had, like, added objectives, risky things you could go and try to do that would, you know, put your crew at risk, but, you know, be, have higher rewards. And Dan, he named his character, the captain, he named the character Captain Fabulous and decided that Captain Fabulous never settles for second best, always goes for every risky objective. And so we tried. I think we did a terrible job, but we went for all of the, all the toughest objectives. So if I ever get a character named Captain Fabulous, they're going to take... They're going to take every possible risk along the way uh, for every possible reward. And that's just how they're going to operate. Hey, Isby, before we talk, uh, I might have brought some friends. I like that Isby believes in traveling light. Like, she never has more than just a knife on her. Are these folks going to... I think they might have lost my scent. I'm following up on a weird radio signal I picked up. Can you help me grab some stuff from my old base? Sure. Roger, Roger. Oh, I have some theories about this weird signal, but I can't prove anything. Not yet. That's why I need to get over to Jurassic Junction and pick up some of my old gear. So, uh, the setup is let's see here. Erect, but I can salvage some useful bits. Mark Lautenbach told me about a bug with this particular mission where Isby starts talking, and if I get there quickly, she'll still be finishing a conversation with me when we get into conflict with zombies. That's what Mark reported, so I'm going to try to see that firsthand and see if, yes, there is something that I can do to make that not happen. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. What's going on? This place, it's bad news. Gotcha. Okay, never mind. Definitely not ready for this. Come on, this place can't be that bad. Not the place, it's the memories. My relay was installed over by a, a where the fuel tank used to be. Used to be? Technically, it's still there. Oh gosh, that's a lot of zombies. Oh yeah, of course. The um I threw my Molotov and just filled gasoline, which extinguished it. My, my volume is still a little bit loud, isn't it? So, 
I think that last line of dialogue that she was still saying actually triggers very close to Jurassic Junction. I don't know if I could just start the whole conversation earlier and have that be fixed. This is it. Oh, that fuel tank ain't broken. It's wrecked. That wasn't supposed to happen. Things just got out of hand. Should be safe enough that I can start looking around. Do you want to, like, um, talk about what happened here? There's nothing much to say. I was being stubborn, and people got killed. Doesn't matter anymore. Anyway, I need to grab those parts. Watch my back. So, you got it. Corrupt Snake says uh, the of me, will you? that the character's name is is Wayne McAuliffe. So I think that must be what I've, oh, must be what I associated Captain Fabulous uh, with. Uh, McAuliffe is my friend Dan's last name. He's actually uh, an exec at, at Bungie now. I keep trying to unzoom, and I end up opening the emotes menu instead by accident because I'm releasing the aim button at the same time. Look at all that fuel that spilled out. I'm trying to see if I can shoot an arm off these zombies. Shit, screamer! Where's the screamer? Oh, come on. Stop that. Come on. Wow, this screamer really gets around. Quite done. Okay, that's a wrap. Let's go. I'm right behind you. All right, so yeah, so we learned a little bit about Isby here. She caused some kind of horrible ecological disaster that made this base unlivable, and she feels really guilty about it. I don't want to stick around here for very long. All right, here we go. So, how is that uh, Cleo drop doing? It's only halfway there. I get back to the ranger station. The doc's probably worried about me. Should I be worried about you too? Because you seem a little shaken up. No, no, I'll be fine. Just some bad memories I'm trying to get past. I swear I'm this close to beating on someone. Oh no. Say that to my fucking face. Jack and Screamer are fighting back at base. I need to think about my morale a little bit more. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of options in the Red Talon base to uh, spend space on morale facilities. Okay, I got a little emotional. But I'm over that now, honestly. Mm-hmm. I'll call you when I know more about the signal, okay? Sure, Isby. Whatever. Just what I need. All right, so we got a survivor activity mission here. If this is a potential recruit, that could be very useful given that I got my mechanic killed. So let's go see who this is. Hello. I have a little bit of a feral problem, buddy. At least I did. Huh, guess I lost him. All right. Oh, this house is another bonanza. Ben? Where are you, Ben? There you are. Hey, Ben. Hmm, abandon my old place? Yeah, oh. sure. I mean, I might as well search a little bit while I'm here, right? No more of that. 
Of course, I guess I'm only going to get more tired the more time I waste. Oh, that was dumb. So yeah, let's head over. Where does Ben want to go? Pretty close. All right. Let's head that way. We'll probably be scavenging anyway, right? So, hey, Ben. Come here. Get off me. Not keep this up. All right, Ben. Hope this bayonet is worth That's it. Bite me that. Looks like it's your lucky day. Fuck yeah. Come here, Ben. Here you go. Gracias. He really came through, amigo. A little something as a reward. No room for that. All right, let's talk to Ben. Who are you, Ben? You're a painter? Uh, sorry, man. I'm looking for a different skill set. Entiendo. Take it easy. Yep. See you later. All right, we'll drop off these materials and just, I don't know anything else that doesn't stack. Come back in here. Try to get the rest of this stuff. This nice materials run, I guess. Uh, five bowls of ramen says that I might have a maxed out skill to upgrade. Let's see. Oh, I do. Yeah, I've got wits here that I can upgrade to tactics. Only choice for a Red Talon operative. So what else should we do? I mean, we need to start heading back home. I do wonder, because I've got war fighting. Oh, I don't have very, very many stars in war fighting, so it's not actually... In fact, I'm not sure if war fighting increases the sort of limb damage that I do. Man, not sure if it's dead yet. I want to start shooting arms off some zombies. But I might want something like a, uh, a shotgun. Yeah, I think this gun is not doing it. I forgot that uh, Red Talon soldiers get aim snap. They don't get it in Daybreak. They only get it in uh, the proper game. But uh, that does make it easier to take hordes down. All right. Let's see. I'll go to that old bar eventually. No matter what. Oh, crap. Yeah, somebody settled here. Oh, wait. No, this is... Oh, no. This is actually Ray. I forgot I actually had already done the Ray, the Ray thing. Never mind. Um... I guess we'll stop by the fruit stand on our way out of town. Ooh, Ayo Takagawa suggests that the Clio tumbler might help with the dismembering. I think you're right about that. I I'm trying to remember if I have a tumbler. You know what? I have been talking about calling in a daybreak trader, so maybe that's what I should do. Is call in a daybreak trader to grab something like that. That's a good suggestion, uh, Takagawa. Hey, this will make a great outpost. Would it though? Right. 
search through here real quick. Yes, food. That's what I was hoping for. And we got a bunch of seeds now. We just need to pick a trader leader and we can uh, build ourselves a fancy farm. So where else? Ooh, ooh. Okay, so how much time do we have on the Clio drop? It's three minutes away. So yeah, maybe we've got time to just do one thing. I still, I want to be a far away from base still when the Clio drop triggers, because I want to make sure that I know what happens if I'm not near base and that action completes. Hey, Type Metal, thanks for gifting all these subs to people. I appreciate it. So, um, Cog says uh, that I missed I missed a Cleo Siege question uh, above. If you if you want to repeat it, I'd love I'd love to answer it. Sorry, I missed it the first time. Jedi Psych Tricks! Good to see you. Okay, so I think that about around the end of this next Cleo Siege is when we should probably wrap up this session. So let's go. Hey, Teresa. You go, cowpuncher. <laughs> have having opinions. All right. Hello. Okay, looks like we took care of the uh, took care of the infestation. That's kind of all I care about. So screw these zombies. Wait a minute, it's still not time for the Cleo relay siege, so we're not going to go home yet. Let's head over here. Let's grab a couple things. Looks clear, but let's keep quiet anyway. Sure, let's keep quiet. Yes, repair kit. Oh no, I'm attracting more zombies. That's pretty heavy. Yes, I can handle it. No oh wow, no room. Oh, okay, fine. Hey, I'm pressing this shit. Oh, man, not now. Yeah, I guess I've been using this weapon a lot. Oh, wait, I already filled my inventory, so let's go drop some stuff off in here. Actually, can you send Cleo with the supply drop? We got someone on it now. All right. Cool. They're making the call. Everyone return to base. We've got a zombie swarm heading our way. Okay, good. I was worried. Headed there now. I was worried that the that the mission might not have had this step because I was not because I thought that I was not at home when it started last time. I was worried that this step where it lets me have a chance to come home was not going to happen. But it does happen. So yay. I was afraid I was going to find a bug, but I did not find a bug. So we'll get through this siege, we'll pick up the Cleo drop, and then we'll move on to another episode. We definitely need to fix our axe, though. Hi, I just believe in fishtailing. Nothing but fishtailing all the time. We have so much crap. Yes. Let's drop everything off. Let's 
start mulching those weapon bits. I wonder if I've got another mechanics textbook. Zombies coming in. Time to knuckle up. It occurs to me. I do not. Zombie siege underway here at the base camp. show them we won't go quietly. Hello. That's what I meant to do. All right. Let's What does this thing fire? Oh, I've got like no bullets left for this thing. <laughs> Holy shit, that's big. Oh, hi! Wah! All right. So how we all gonna pick a leader? Do we vote or fight this death? Come on, that has to be it. Please, please let that be it. Whoa, blow it! Get off! Oh, yeah, okay, okay, yes. Come on. I think the screamer knocked me off. Come on, that has to be it. Please, please let that be it. Ooh. Unfortunately, just a moment. I gotta go AFK. Somebody's knocking on my door. Just a second. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> my son just got from home, home from school and he was really excited to tell me that he had a good day. So, uh, yay! Milo had a good day at school. Let's keep trying to survive this. Oh my gosh! Okay, hold on. Um, I don't have a lot of great options here. I guess we'll grab some of these guys. Hello. Okay, just in case I need it, I've grabbed some explosives. I'm hoping I don't need them, though. Still got a whole minute. Yeah, I think with everybody... Oh, I'm all out of bullets. And I'm pretty sure I'm just out of 556 in general. Yes, thank you, somebody, for shooting that feral. I appreciate it. Yeah, this dude is just completely out of ammo. And, oh, crap. Here is another... Okay. We gotta get something. Let's grab the danger dog. Wow, that was quick. Everybody else, shoot him, please. Bunny Lord, stay out of the way. Back away, Bunny Lord. We cannot lose you, too. All right. This new Cleo drop is under control. No need to send out a team or anything. Copy that. Recon mission aborted. Thanks for letting us know. All right, there it goes. All right. We survived. Kind of. Um, I'm going to head out and grab that Cleo drop. And then we're going to wrap up this episode. But we're going to keep streaming. Day is not over yet. Still a lot more potential bugs to explore. Cleo shotgun.
All right, well, we've got some good stuff going here. I still would like to get a Cleo pistol. I'm not sure if those drop with the Cleo drops, but I'm pretty sure they do. I, I, I think so. I looked at... I looked at the list of potential weapons that drop with those fairly recently, and I think a Cleo pistol was in there. So this guy's tired. So next time we get started, uh, we are not going to have this guy as our main guy. So let's drop all this stuff off. And let's decide how we actually want to equip him. So, we have got, let's see here. Where was that? Cleo, there we go, Cleo Battle Rifle. So we're gonna grab him a Cleo Battle Rifle. Oh, wait a minute. Um, yeah, let's grab him the Cleo Battle Rifle. We've got no bullets left for that gun. What do we have bullets left for? Let's see. Uh, he should carry some backup ammo. Some backup Clio ammo. And we got 44 Magnum, but I don't know if we've got any guns that fire 44 Magnum. We've got a lot of things that fire 9mm, but not a lot of 9mm. And we've got a lot that fires 22, but not a lot of 22. We don't have a lot of anything, really. Let's just give him this PPK. And I feel like maybe we should give him a different blade. Oh, man. Nothing dismembers like the hatchet I've got, though. Ultralight axe. Okay, I feel like we can improve this guy's setup still. Oh, your aunt? Oh, really? Your aunt's a prepper? Really? Screamer, really? Tell me about your aunt, the prepper. I really want to hear about your prepper aunt. This is very important to me. I want to understand this story. This important backstory that you have. Okay, anyway, enough saltiness from me about our missions that spawn too often. Um, let's wrap up this episode. So, okay. So, this episode, we got a lot done. We went through a couple of Clio relay drops. I got some more experience with those, so I've got a clearer idea. Rem reminding myself of how, you know, how they work. Um, we also got through that Isby Jurassic Junction mission, so we're kind of awaiting the next story mission to fire. Uh, that'll be interesting to, to see. So what do we want to do next session? I still want to call in a prestige yeah, trader. And, uh, right. uh, yeah, I want to call in a prestige trader, see what else I can, I can pick up that might be nice red talon type equipment. And then, I don't know, I think we probably want to go out looking for more zombie arms to shoot off, which means I want to find somebody uh, with a nice shotgun, or if we can get a Cleo tumbler, attach a Cleo tumbler to something and, uh, and run around shooting zombie arms off. So that's what we're going to do next session. Uh, for right now, though, uh, if you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel, I'm going to stick a button right there. Uh, I'll put other video links over here, so click on one of those. And uh, the next episode that we're going to shoot right now is going to go there. So click that.